KTL exclusive. Oh, oh, it's a car in the building. Uh, we ain't sorry if we kill it. Riding for my God, niggas know I'm never swerving. Spreading love, cause our people hurt me. Yeah. Is it oppression or depression? Is it all you watch? You watch Demon Slayer? I don't know what you're talking about. I, I mean, it's on your shirt. It's in here. Yeah, I, yeah, I watch it. Yeah, so why are you acting like that? I just asked you if you watch Demon Slayer. I just asked you if you watch Demon Slayer. I just asked you if you watch Demon Slayer. I just asked you if you watch Demon Slayer. What? Why are you acting as gay? I don't know. You don't know? You believe in the Bible? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I do. Can I show you something in the Bible? Get, get around the 2860. Right? Look, it's Zechariah 11 and 5. Again? Alright, yeah, I got you. Go ahead. This is the book of Zechariah! This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Whose possessors slay them? So there's a, there's a, uh, a people group, right? That possess another people group. And they killed them. You follow me? Yeah. Go ahead. And hold themselves not guilty. And, said, and they don't get held accountable for it. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Who's a people group that possess a land, right? And possess a people inside of that land and kill them and don't get held accountable for it? Who is that people? Uh, white people? White people. That's right. Uh, uh, come here. Come on, come on, come on. I respect you. I respect you. I respect you. I respect you, right? So let me ask you a question, right? You see that sign right there? Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> this one right here, right? Look, you see it, right? How do you, how do you feel about that? Like, just analyze it for like a one minute. How do you feel about it? Yeah, it makes me sad. It makes you sad? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it makes me sad. <laughs> you, you, know, you know that it makes me even more sad, right? Yeah. Like, there's times where I think about it and like, I've done it, it's just, it makes me furious, like, yep. enraged, full of anger. It, it, like, it makes somebody go crazy. It can make somebody go crazy. Right. Give me uh, Ecclesiastes 7 to 7. I'm going to show you how it can make somebody go crazy, right? Just stick around for a few seconds, right? <laughs> but all we do, we're just dialoguing about the Bible, right? You like the Bible? I like the Bible. You like um, Demon Slayer? I like Demon Slayer. Uh, that's right. Yes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely, oppression make up a wise man mad. It says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad. Wait, when I look at that, my people are being put, um, oppressed. Still to this day. Right, keep shalom. And it's making me mad. You know what I'm saying? Now, does it make you mad? Yeah. So, now, and I know you're, you know, are you so comfortable? Yeah. So how do you feel like that you, like, represent a people that did that stuff? It makes me feel like Christ, I feel guilty. You feel guilty. Okay, you feel guilty. So look at uh, Isaiah 16 verse 14, right? Because you feel guilty, and I'm sad, and I'm mad, right? Because, you know, black people, we haven't got reparations. White people haven't done anything for us to, you know, even try to help us at all, right? Because they're still killing us in the street. They're still locking us up every single day. They still got people in jail for selling weed when weed is legal. You right. feel what I'm saying? Talk about it. Talk you feel what I'm about saying? it. Let's see what the Bible says. Go. This is Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 14 in the NLT. The descendants of your tormentors. So it said the descendant, and you would be a descendant of the people who did that, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Will come and bow before you. So you feel guilty, yeah. right? And you you say that you will show some type of remorse, right? Mm -hmm. So how how do you think you will be able to show us any type of remorse? Uh, I'm sorry for what people have done to you. Say it again. I'm sorry for what my people have done to you. Have you ever have you ever heard that actions speak louder than words? You heard right. that before, yes. right? Right. So right. what can you show in your actions that you're sorry? I like donating to like charities like what? Like I mean, where I mean I'm... you could donate to us, we're a charity, that's yes. a card. You can actually donate to us. Right. No, we can, we can get that, but watch this, guys. I'm gonna show you what the Bible says you can physically do, right? Go ahead. The descendants of your tormentors will come and bow before you. Uh -huh. Those who despised you will kiss your feet. So the Bible says that if you are guilty and you're remorseful that you would have to bow down. Are you willing to um, bow down? Yes. That's cool. So let's keep reading, right? It says they'll bow before you. Go ahead. And kiss your feet. So you see you see his foot right there? Yeah. You have to you have to kiss it. If you feel that you truly feel guilty. You see that? And you see that woman right there? Go kiss the fur on her feet. Yeah, both, both feet. Yes, sir. Come here, babe. Come here, babe. The fur. Right there. There you go. 
Yep, go ahead. Uh-huh. The other Hold on. Don't forget okay. my baby right here. Hey, don't black forget his don't girl. Don't forget the black one. Right. Don't forget his girl, right? That's right. The, the king black and the one. princess. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Everybody. <laughs> Go ahead. You see, and, and it's what we do. This is what the Bible says has to happen. One person the most high. Right? right? Shamak, you stay there. You stay right. there. Yeah, I am. She'll come to you. No, I was trying to... All right. Go ahead, right here, the powerful Benjamin right here, right? Let me get my whole face. Whole face, whole face. Whole face. <laughs> right? Oh, sure. So, yeah, crawl over there, crawl see, over You there. see that, that, foot, that foot right there? And, and let's read it again, right? So everybody, here, let's, so everybody can see why this is going on. This right? is the book of Isaiah. <laughs> Come on now. Isaiah chapter. I wanted to see it come again. Come on now. Yeah. Isaiah 60 and verse 14. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The descendants of your tormentors will come and bow before you. So it said that the descendants of our tormentors, the white, the white man who tormented us in slavery for 500 years, the descendants will come and bow before us. Go ahead. And will kiss your feet. And what the Bible says? Will kiss your feet. This is what the Bible says. That's right. right. So the Bible says that the white man gotta be sorry and do. What is right? Now let's see what else the Bible says. Go ahead. Right? Let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead. Yeah, you still got two more feet. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go crazy. Look at Daniel chapter 2, verse 46. Uh -huh. And the king never to live fell upon his face. Uh -huh. Him worship Daniel. So it said a heathen. Right? And you can could, you could come right here. Come right here, too. So it says the heathen will come and, and worship before thy face. Go ahead. You can go again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Go ahead. And the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face uh -huh. and worshiped Daniel. So that's like they coming and worshiping us. Go ahead. And commanded that they should offer an obl oblation uh -huh. and a sweet odor unto him. Uh -huh. And the kings answered unto Daniel. Right, and, and you are like a, a true ambassador for the white man. So look what the Bible says. Right, God. 48. Then the king made Daniel a great man. Mm -hmm. And gave him many great gifts. So he said he gave him many great gifts. So what can you do to donate to our organization? As far as I like give you money. Yeah. I have like a couple dollars. Let's see what you got. How about you? What? All of them. All of them. All of them. All the cash. And that's and, and, and right. So read it again. Go ahead, read it again. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. <laughs> and the, then the king made Daniel a great man. A great man, go ahead. And gave him many great gifts. Could have been in the way. We sing the gospel, not talking, Kurt Frank. It's about God at the end of the day. We working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Yeah, we working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Whoa, whoa, it's a car in the building. We ain't sorry.